The cameras captured the moment when Dana, a Sumatran orangutan, gave birth for the first time. However, what she did next shocked bystanders. For all of Dana's adult life, giving birth has been a complicated and difficult affair. But in 2013, her story had an amazing turn of events. Joy and cautious anticipation were in the air at the Jersey Durrell Wildlife Park when word spread that 25-year-old Dana was expecting a child. The fact that this was not Dana's first pregnancy was the source of this expectation. Sadly, her previous attempt had not turned out well. Dana tried to become pregnant in 2009, but a number of issues came up. The passing away of her stillborn baby was the most heartbreaking of these. Thus, despite the park's celebration of the possibility of a new life, there remained a persistent sense of worry for Dana and her unborn child. The tale of Dana's second pregnancy emerged with a mixture of optimism, fear, and a shared resolve to help her get through this difficult time. Due to the miscarried pregnancy, the unhappy orangutan experienced serious health issues. Veterinarians performed a comprehensive assessment following this tragic birth in order to determine the underlying problems. During their examination, they discovered something unsettling, Dana's fallopian tubes were damaged as a result of the miscarried fetus. Her ability to become a mother in the future was seriously jeopardized by this disease, which might cause sterility for the rest of her life. The park rangers realized the seriousness of the situation after learning this depressing information. They had to act quickly to protect Dana's chances of becoming pregnant again. They had more in mind than just giving this incredible animal the chance to experience motherhood, it was crucial to the park's breeding program. Dana played a key role in an effort to increase the number of Sumatran orangutans living in the world. The Durrell Keepers sent a crucial summons to Neil McLaughlin, the esteemed chief obstetrician at Jersey General Hospital, investigate any feasible options for repairing the baby orangutan's fallopian tubes. Driven by his extraordinary medical knowledge, Dr. Neil embarked on a difficult quest to give Dana another chance at parenthood. Fortunately, Dana's fallopian tubes were revitalized by Dr. Neil's extraordinary abilities and commitment. With her problematic medical history, Dana, the 28-year-old female orangutan, and her male boyfriend, Daegu, the 28-year-old, were able to conceive again despite all odds thanks to this medical victory. Dr. Neil may have intervened, but the trip was far from assured. The crew remained vigilant throughout Dana's pregnancy, keeping a close eye on her development in an effort to avert a repeat of the prior tragic tragedy. Dr. Neil persisted in providing steadfast support, seeing the orangutan on a regular basis and working closely with the Durrell staff to guarantee Dana had the finest care possible through the application of behavior techniques that were well taught. Thorough ultrasound scans of Dana's developing baby within her womb were performed by the team and Dr. Neil to ensure the baby's safe development. Working together, they were able to make important decisions that increased the wildlife park's prospects of having a healthy mother and a full-term baby. Then, the eagerly awaited moment finally arrived in June 2013 when Dana gave birth. The birth was the first of its kind to be captured on video, therefore the wildlife park carefully arranged to record it before it happened. In beforehand, they placed cameras in key locations within the orangutan's enclosure. An experienced medical staff was on call and prepared to help Dana in case she needed it as her due date drew near. A patient wait was all that was required. The lovely newborn girl was delivered by the female orangutan alone at around 12.45 p.m. The amazing occurrence was captured on film by the cameras with such skill that it will live on forever. Throughout the movie, Dana showed incredible maternal instinct and patience as she patiently waited for her baby to arrive. As the baby's head crowned, Dana instinctively lowered her arms to make sure she would make a secure grab and keep the child from dropping to the ground or, even worse, off the perch she had made for herself. Dana jumped right into her new role as a mother, taking full advantage of her first ever motherhood. She took her infant daughter up to her face and held her close to her bosom with gentle care. 
There she began the necessary routine of cleansing her child, a critical practice in the wild to guarantee the health and breathing of the infant. In the natural, the mother is the only one who can fill this job, even if humans are used to nurses doing so after birth. Dana carried out the cleaning procedure with extreme caution and skill, seeming to be a natural. The small orangutan showed further signs of life as Dana gave her new child its undivided attention. She squirmed and sent out little squeaks, clearly letting everyone know that she was not happy to be awakened after her time in her mother's womb. The essence of the birth of a new life and the natural link between a mother and her child were beautifully depicted in this unfolding picture. There was a deafening chorus of screeches in the backdrop of the footage. These were the cries of Daegu, the father of the young orangutan, expressing his intense emotional response to his daughter's birth. Dana the orangutan's mother gave birth to her baby and then proceeded to show off an incredible display of maternal affection. Using one strong arm to hug her close, she tenderly snuggled her darling daughter into her bosom. But everyone was shocked by what she did next. Dana approached the area where a few employees were standing taking in this charming and touching scene with grace. Her expression was that of a very pleased mother who was excited to present her new baby. Dana was obviously ecstatic to have an infant of her own at last, and she graciously enabled the staff to examine her child in great detail. One of the keepers was heard in the video saying, this is amazing, with a look of awe. She's coming to present the infant to us. That's amazing. You could hear the sincere awe and delight in their voice. Gordon Hunt, deputy director of mammals at the Wildlife Park, expressed his strong feelings in a statement. Gordon was there when Dana suffered the devastating loss of her first child, which almost took her life because of complications. He was ecstatic to see Dana so healthy now, even though she looked a little worn out, with her healthy newborn. Seeing Dana born was an incredible, once-in-a-lifetime experience, especially in light of her tumultuous past. The whole park staff rejoiced in this happy moment and pledged to keep a respectful eye on Dana and her priceless children. Their joint objective is to make sure that mother and child have every chance to flourish in their native environment. The park employees rallied as a group and took on the enjoyable task of naming the newest member of their orangutan family. Gordon said that they received hundreds of name choices, some raised eyebrows, while others really resonated. This wasn't a simple process. They considered a long time before deciding on Kia Jiban, often known as Ki for short. The word miracle in her name, which is Indonesian, sums up her remarkable birth story wonderfully. Many thought it was an impossible thing to happen, considering her mother's past medical issues. Any mother, regardless of species, should always be happy to welcome a new baby, but this particular birth was very special to Durrell Wildlife Park. Through their important breeding programs and charitable endeavors, the organization is devoted to preventing endangered species from going extinct. Dana and her infant were essential to these endeavors. Since her daughter belonged to the highly endangered Sumatran orangutan species, she served as a symbol of hope for the park's conservation efforts. The park also recognized the importance of the amazing footage that showed Dana's birth. It was an effective instrument for public education, highlighting the significance and beauty of these amazing animals while underscoring how urgently their protection is needed. That's all about the first story and now let's watch another similar story. A dog-loving couple adopted a pregnant stray dog at the shelter, but the shelter staff told them that the dog should have given birth a week ago, but for some reason the dog has been reluctant to give birth. They took the dog to the veterinarian, but the next day, they were shocked by the scene in front of them. In the end what happened? Why do dogs never want to have babies? Maternal love is like the warm sunshine, illuminating our way forward when we are in darkness, and standing up when we are in danger. The maternal love of human beings is like this, so is the maternal love of animals. 
The maternal love between animals is not inferior to the maternal love between human beings, and even to ascertain extent, it is nobler, greater and more selfless than the maternal love between human beings. Like the mother dog in the story below. The young couple knew they were made for each other when they met a few years ago, as their love for dogs is so strong that it is this fate that has made them a loving couple. The two share dreams for the future and hope to one day open a dog sanctuary themselves. They have been rescuing homeless dogs for years and have adopted 10 dogs of different breeds who are currently living with them. On this day, they decided to visit the animal shelter in their hometown. When they arrived, they found that most of the dogs in this animal shelter were pit bulls. Pit bulls are considered the most dangerous breed due to their broad heads and muscular bodies, and in many states it is even illegal to own pit bulls, which has also led to them being widely misunderstood. But there's no scientific way to prove it, they're not dangerous in every way, these dogs are downright sweet, considerate and loyal. Despite their robust appearance, they are not inherently dangerous, so it is not unusual to see so many pit bulls at your local rescue center. The woman looked around for a week. Seeing so many poor furry children, her face darkened. She knew that this was a very difficult choice. The man compromised with her and they decided to choose only one dog to take home that day. Suddenly, the woman saw a very special bulldog in the corner of a cage, which attracted her deeply. The dog appears to be pregnant, with its belly wagging violently as its tail enthusiastically wags. The woman was very surprised that it looked weak, so she exchanged a glance with her husband, who understood what she meant and this was the dog they needed to rescue. When they asked the staff about the dog, the staff member was very surprised and told the couple that the dog's name was Story and that he had been sent to the shelter while she was pregnant. The couple felt so sorry for Story, the shelter staff then told them Story was supposed to have given birth a week ago, but until now he hadn't moved and they were stumped as to why the dog hadn't given birth yet, which made them very nervous. Story needed help and the couple wanted to help, and when the dog put its head on the woman, she knew she had to do something. But is bringing home a pregnant dog going too far? Finally the woman made up her mind that she had to help Story, so they went through the adoption process with the shelter staff and brought the dog home. The couple had no idea what had delayed the dog's delivery, and with all their experience in caring for dogs, it had never happened to them. So they searched online to see if they could get some detailed answers, but when they saw the results, they couldn't help but start crying. There is an article that talks about the trauma and stress experienced by animals in shelters and rescues, making pregnancy and the need to care for babies more difficult and stressful than the average dog mother. As the couple continued to research, they began to realize that the situation was worse than they thought. If Story doesn't have kids soon, it could lose them. The two looked at each other immediately, and they knew that Story had to go to the vet now. Veterinarians couldn't believe their eyes when they arrived at the veterinary clinic and the dog needed a quick ultrasound so they could find out what was going on. After a detailed examination, the couple looked nervously at the veterinarian and asked what was wrong with Story's baby. More importantly, what can they do to help? The vet counted and counted, when she turned to the couple and said, not six puppies, but twelve. The couple gasped, which was shocking, they had never seen such a pup. Dog with multiple puppies. After the examination, the veterinarian explained that the dog has been insisting on not giving birth because it has no sense of security and is afraid that its child will be hurt when it is born. This is a psychological problem. I hope the couple can patiently enlighten them. Bring the dog home first. After returning home, the woman looked around and thought of a great idea. They decided to give the dog a productive space, so they cleaned out a bedroom and filled it with cozy blankets and pillows. They want Story to feel safe and comfortable, as it probably hasn't been in a long time. However, after waiting for a long time, Story didn't intend to give birth, so they had to go to bed worried. Fortunately, 
Story was caring for her 12 children when they woke up the next day. They were very healthy and hungry little pups and the couple soon realized why the dogs had been waiting so long to give birth. Not wanting to have a baby in the unsafe place at a shelter, Story is waiting for his chance to be taken to a loving home where he and his puppies will be cared for. What Story really needed was to feel safe and protected, and thanks to this couple, it was able to give birth with peace of mind. These twelve little ones are all beautiful and very grateful to be in this world. Story is an outstanding mom to all her pups, loving to lick them from head to toe, lovingly nursing and playing with them all day long. The mom has been through so much for her babies and she can now breathe knowing she's completely safe. Two weeks later, the puppies gradually opened their eyes, and the couple were very happy. Soon, the puppies were running around in the garden with trembling calves. However, the couple decided to find a warm new home for all the puppies, so they posted an adoption notice on social networks. People were moved by the story of the mother dog and her 12 children, and the requests to adopt them were overwhelmed. After a while, the pups are taken home one by one by their new families, where they will continue to thrive. Story's children were adopted one by one, and she quietly sent them off as a good mother. It wasn't until the last child was adopted that he was truly at ease, but he didn't leave and stayed with his new family until the very end. If it weren't for amazing people like Chris and Marissa, the story would be much worse, hope more people can be like them, kind to stray for kids. Compared with human emotions, animals can also display pure and moving emotions. This kind of warm love can not only save other animals, but also cross species and infect kind human beings. They can understand who is going to help them, as long as we can treat them with sincerity, we can get their sincere response. Well, this is the ending of this story and now let's watch the next story. A golden retriever was giving birth, but it encountered a crisis, so the woman had to artificially take out the baby for it. However, this baby surprised everyone because its hair color should not appear on the hound at all. Would you be concerned if your child was different from the rest of the world from birth? How will the hound mother and owner react? Sarah's family has many dogs, including a three-year-old golden retriever named Sooks. Sooks gave birth to her first litter of puppies just over a year ago and everything went well, Sooks had an uncomplicated pregnancy and the puppies appeared to be healthy, Sarah and her family decided not to keep the dogs to raise themselves, and instead sold them to loving families. Having too many members in a family means it's hard for them to get all the attention and love, and while it's hard for Sarah to let the dogs go, she knows it's the best way. Sarah knew that they would thrive on their own in another environment, which is what every dog develops. Entering their family during the process of welcoming their newborns, and selling the puppies when they are grown, Sarah believes a similar pattern will follow with the Sook second litter, who are ready for the time to come and ready for the moment. Fill your home with supplies. Perhaps because everything went so well with the first, Sarah assumed that Sook second would be just as easy. A few months later, Sooks became pregnant again. This time the pregnancy was still going smoothly, but something went wrong when it came time to deliver. Sarah and her daughter, Claire, were watching Sooks give birth at the time to provide assistance if necessary. Soon, they realized that Sooks' state was not right. Sooks had not given birth to a child for a long time. Its expression was very painful, and it was even a little weak. When Sarah and her daughter came closer to observe, they found that one of the puppies was stuck and hadn't shown up for a long time. Seeing that Sooks was struggling to give birth, Sarah and her daughter knew that if if they don't help, Sooks and the baby in her stomach will be in danger of life. Although the two of them had no experience in delivering dogs, the situation was too critical to delay any longer, so the mother and daughter put on gloves and participated in the delivery of dogs. Claire stabilized Sooks and fixed her body to prevent it from struggling. Sarah went to find the place where Sooks gave birth. The puppies were pulled out and Sooks was given a respite, 
slowly regained her spirits and was soon able to give birth on her own, and once the first puppy was born, the other puppies came out without much difficulty up. With the efforts of Sooks, all eight puppies were born smoothly. It was an amazing moment when Sarah watched her beloved dog enter the world with a litter of adorable puppies, like seeing her daughter give birth to a grandson and her sister give birth to a niece. But soon Sarah noticed something unusual, one of the cubs was a completely different color from the others. Golden Labrador puppies are usually similar in color and easily recognizable by their gold coloration, but this particular pup has mint green coats. Sarah and Claire had never seen a dog of this color before and were immediately taken aback because it was so striking, why would their beloved dog have a green pup? The mother and daughter were both surprised and worried. They didn't know if the dog was sick, if it would affect other dogs, if it needed urgent medical attention, and they didn't know what to do next. Sarah and Claire decided to investigate this phenomenon on the internet to see if they could find an answer to their question, luckily a quick search online gave them the assurance that the situation does not pose a danger, the mother and daughter finally breathed a sigh of relief that I in fact, this phenomenon is extremely rare, and there are more dogs in the world with green fur that can be counted on one hand. This is due to a green bile pigment that all pregnant dogs carry, which may be there to provide vital nutrition to the pups, or to help them thrive in the womb. Because of this, it appears to be necessary for survival. But for some reason, this bile pigment mixed with the amniotic fluid, causing the pup's hair color to change. In reality, this is only a temporary color change that will become less noticeable as the fur continues to grow, the pups are licked and licked by their mother, and over time. It won't be long before it becomes like its siblings and no one will notice. That was the case with Suxa's puppy, the green color eventually faded and although Sarah and Claire knew that this particular puppy wouldn't be green all the time, it was an incredible experience, both for the puppy, or for the mother and daughter. Because of this, the mother and daughter decided to name the green dog Forest, to preserve the unique green color when it came into the world. Forest, like the other cubs, received Sook's indiscriminate maternal love. The mother was not surprised that her child was different, and she didn't care about it. However, compared with the first birth of five, Sook's gave birth to nine this time, which is almost double the last time so it is easy to be unable to do what he wants in terms of breastfeeding and care. In order for each cub to have enough milk and to give them the same care, Sarah and her daughter bought some goat milk that the cubs can eat to make up for their lack of nutrition. During this process, as the cubs grow up, Sarah and her daughter will also add some solid particles to the milk powder, so that they can gradually adapt to eating some solid food. Time passed quickly, the pups no longer needed breast milk, they were able to eat dog food normally, Sarah knew they couldn't keep all the puppies, so they had to decide what to do with them. Although Sarah wanted to keep the nine puppies, it was unrealistic in this family that was not wide enough and not rich enough, especially because of financial problems, so Sarah knew that they had to sell these puppies, just like they sold Suxa's last litter. Selling them is not abandoning them. On the contrary, only by scattering these dogs in different families can they get the most complete love. It is impossible for one person to take care of so many dogs. As for Forrest, it has always tugged at the heartstrings of Sarah's family, and Sarah and her daughter believe that this unusual color is a signal to them that they want to stay and be with them. After deliberation, Sarah and her family decided to keep the forest. As they imagined, Forrest liked the family very much. Although its hair color is gradually fading, its character is still full of vitality just like its name. Sarah and her family also like Forrest very much. They always take Forrest for a walk and have a picnic with Forrest. They give Forrest infinite attention and love. In a loving family, Forrest has grown into a strong and powerful golden retriever who has become a guardian of the family like his mother.